Hey everyone, it's Little Lolly Cat here, and I'm trying to speak a bit louder today, since I've noticed how quiet all my videos keep getting. And I'm so bad for that, and I'm sorry. It's because when I, I don't talk loud usually, unless I'm doing something and getting more active, so I'm usually quite quiet. <laughs> so I've decided today to do a video, which hopefully will be helpful to some of you, on ABDL shops that are currently available in different areas. Now obviously I know more about the UK based ones or the ones that actually ship to the UK than the European ones, so it, well, European based only and like mainland Europe, you know, and US based ones, so, or Australia. But there are shops I know of so that you can go check them out. So I have a list and all the links will be in the description box below, so check them out if you want to. Okay. Now, starting with the UK, there is obviously ABDL Marketplace. And ABDL Marketplace stocks samples, it stocks onesies, and it stocks now sex toys. It also does some pacifiers, it has some smaller merchants running in it that make like pacifier clips, and I believe they got someone that now crochets like bonnets and stuff like that. So if that's your kind of thing, then I would suggest it. However, I will say that the price of nappies and diapers are actually quite expensive from them, so it's useful to get to know which ones you like if you're only wanting to order a couple, but it's not particularly good for buying en masse. Um, their onesies are decent. They're quite... They're ones you've probably seen around before. They're like... They're not outstanding in design, but they do have a couple of plain coloured ones out now. The prices are reasonable, but they do obviously charge shipping, so check that on top. Um, next is obviously the Baby Bird Boutique, who I am a brand ambassador for. And they are the ones that do a pink onesie. They currently have a mint and a lilac one out as well. So I don't have them to show you right now. But they are made to the same standards as pretty much every other onesie on the market. So without a break the bank price tag and they do have free shipping. Um, they are available to ship worldwide. They only have the free colours right now but are looking at expanding once these free colours are obviously selling. But they are a newer company so it will take them a bit of time to build up obviously. So the fact that they have free out onesies out right now at all is, like, pretty damn good of them. So check them out. They also do pacifiers, and they are, I believe, the cheapest pacifiers plus shipping, because the shipping is free. So they're the cheapest pacifiers and cheapest onesies on the market without them having a sale on. So they are really good. They are really good. They are. They do mostly just more girly and sissy type colours I would say right now, but they are expanding so keep an eye out for them. Next up is the Dotty Diaper Company, which currently has its own website but obviously they only currently sell the two types of diapers, but you can buy them straight from supplier, which I usually, when I shop, I, I prefer to buy straight from the supplier than someone else, because you know what you're getting and there doesn't tend to be any hidden sort of fees or anything like that, so you can buy a pack of them for like $15.99, which is pretty handy. Next up is Cozy and Dry, and Cozy and Dry, I know someone that's bought from them, but I've never bought them from them myself. They do mostly clothing, they do a mix of ABDL and sissy ABDL clothing, and honestly, like, some of the clothes are actually quite cute, but they do have a price tag they do have quite a price tag. They're not as bad as Privatina in Europe, but they are still pretty hefty for what you're getting. So check them out, but keep in mind that it might be more of a treat yourself once in a blue moon sort of thing as opposed to more onesies and stuff these days that are much cheaper. Up next is Cuddles, and Cuddles is a diaper brand as many of you will know. They do a few different types, they do the all over print, they do the one tape, they do the two tape panel ones, they do stay dry or I think it's yeah, I think it's stay dry. 
or dry days, oh, no it must be dry days, they do, which is their all white equivalent. They are extremely soft, but personally I am not the biggest fan because they don't hold that much and I don't think the print is 100% there. But they do also sell onesies, but be aware their onesies come with a bit more of a price tag again, but they also do fleece onesies. And I like fleece onesies, but when you get them, be, be aware fleece doesn't stretch the way jersey stretches, so it's not going to fit you perfectly. You're probably going to have to take it in and up, sort of thing, so keep that in mind before buying. Um, they also sell some adult pacifiers, but they don't sell the cute thingy guard ones, they just sell the sort of standard nook ones. And they also sell baby bottles with the adult tea on it, so can be handy. Can be handy. Um, is there anyone else in the UK? We used to have. Yeah. We used to have a Snuggy store, but it closed down, so I'm waiting to tell they. Because they're reopening as Tigables, but they've been reopening coming soon for like six months now, and it never seems to be happening, so you're just gonna have to like kinda wait it out there as well if you're like me. I do love Tigables though, so hopefully they do it soon. Now in Europe, mainland Europe, these ones, some of these also ship to the UK if you are in the UK, so keep an eye out for them. There is ABDL Factory, which I hugely recommend because you can actually get rears from them, like full packs of rears, they have beans, they have all the ABUs, Bambinos, like, and they sell a bunch of incontinence types as well. They sell things on the side, like they have um, plastic rompers, they sell plastic pants, they sell, they sell a lot of everything, and lots of pacifiers, all different types of pacifiers, like, uh, it's, it's like heaven on earth, I swear. There's so much in there. <laughs> like, I, when I first started wearing, and I decided to, like, order, like, a bulk order, basically. I ordered from them and I got something like 10 packs of diapers in this massive box that I could fit in. It was amazing. And they offer just, well, they do discreet shipping and packaging without, you know, actually have to pay extra for it, which there is another shop, which I'm trying to remember the name of. It's somewhere in here. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. Well, it's one that I wouldn't recommend, but I believe it's Swedish. And I don't recommend them based entirely on the fact that they charge extra for discreet shipping, and I think that's an affront to your cost customers. I think you should order it without actually, without any hassle. I think that's just kind of required for what you're doing. I think that for any company, discreet shipping, especially if you're in this sort of field, is necessary. It shouldn't be a pay extra for it. The only downside is obviously because they are from the Netherlands, they cost more to ship, but like you've got up to so many kilograms for the first shipment of how much you can do before the price goes up, so you can get a fair few packs in there before the price goes up. So I definitely recommend ordering with a friend as well if you're going to do that. It really saves you a lot of money. Next is Buntevindel, which I've got no idea if I'm saying that right, I'm trying, which is the official shop selling for beans, and for beans are, they come in packs of eight, they're fairly cute, although recently their designs have been interesting. I really loved their panda one, their panda one was really cute. I didn't like the baby one, and now they brought out a denim diaper one, <laughs> which I don't think I'll be getting because like it doesn't appeal to me at all. But generally, the like the panda ones were fantastic, and they brought out gold ones, which kind of are similar print to the my diapers, the my diaper imperfect ones. Which obviously most people know that Fabine's original print was taken by my diaper. So yeah, the original print has got like rocking horses and stuff like that on it, which is far cuter. So. Those are still available for those who are interested, so check them out. Next up is for France, there's France ABDL, and they sell diapers, sample packs, bodysuits, onesies, plastic pants, pacifiers, bottles, 
And they're kind of like, I guess, the French equivalent to ABDL Factory, but I think they have less stuff. They have a bit less options. They were stocking kiddo diapers before um, ABDL Factory. I don't know if ABDL Factory now stock them or not. But they were stocking a bit more of a mix, some stuff that they didn't have. But I will say that the, fr <laughs> the site doesn't exactly translate very well, so be careful when you're using it. Um, I personally have never used it. I know people that have and have said it's not that bad. But yeah, it's a fairly big site. Okay, um, next up is Privatina. And a lot of people really love Privatina. And I have to say, there are some cute things on there. But it's all clothing, it's ABDL, and it's done to your size. However, I have an issue with how they do the sizing. And personally, I haven't bought from them, and this really puts me off buying from them. Because they ask for your height and your weight to gauge your size as opposed to asking for what inches you are in each section. So if you're someone like me that holds a lot of weight at their hips and bust and has quite a small waist, you're going to have issues. So it's never going to be that great. So I've got a funny feeling that if I put in my actual size, I'd get something that's far too small on my waist and hips and far too big on, well, far too small on my boobs or my hips, but way too big on my waist sort of thing. which does not appeal to me that much. Either that or I end up with something really huge because people always gauge my size as being larger than I am usually. Um, it is... Yeah, it's made to cut custom sizes so you can ensure a snug fit but obviously the price tag is higher and it is just... Yeah, I don't like how they did the sizing. I would rather they actually asked what size you wear at inches in each area just in case because if you have a shape, then it's just going to throw it off. Um, not to mention, I think everyone lies about their weight. I don't actually know how much I weigh. I don't even own scales, but I think people will lie. <laughs> they do have cute things, but they do have very, very, very pricey things. So if you have the money, then go for it. But I feel like this is more like a Christmas sort of thing for people, price-wise. There is also a place called Patapoom, which I have seen, which it does, once again, it ships to Europe and the USA, this one. And I know they do, um, they do clothes, again. Um, they don't, they do custom sizes, but I don't believe they do the same way as Privatina, and I believe they're also equally quite as expensive, but I don't think they have the range that Privatina has, which is more appealing. So that's Europe. <laughs> that's all the ones I would say about Europe. Um, if you are lucky enough to live in Canada or the US, there's obviously AB Universe, which I'm hoping that they soon start to ship to the UK for cheaper because they have a really cute penguin in space onesie. I totally want. Um, like I can get the I can get the diapers. I just can't get the onesies, unfortunately. Um, there's also Cute, which is another diaper company, but be careful with them because there's a lot of hassle with people ordering stuff and it not showing up and then customer service being really bad, so I kind of recommend against them unless you're buying for someone else that actually has them in stock. Um, Baby Pants, which is an AB shop that sells diapers, onesies, training pants, other assorted AB gear. They're... I've heard they've, they're quite good, but their sizing can be a bit off apparently, so just be careful what you order. They, I know they do loads of pacifiers, in fact most of the pacifier teach you find for the adult guard pacifiers actually say baby pants on the nipple, because funnily enough that's who they were ordered by. So <laughs> check them out, there's obviously, there's bare bomb diapers, which is you know, more diaper companies. Bambino diapers. Um, Cushy Tushies, which I've heard of, which they sell like rears and sample packs and pacifiers. Diaper Connoisseur, which is the only place I can see where you can buy DC Amore, and I really want DC Amore. One day, one day I will have DC Amore. Um, let's see, where else? Pacifiers are us. I've heard a lot about, I've heard a lot of people 
buy from them but they seem a bit hefty for what they are price tag wise especially for the modified patties because you can make them yourself for far far cheaper unfortunately but the people who I know who have difficulty modifying them have said that like they're okay paying the price so it's really what you feel comfortable with. In Canada there's rears which sells obviously rears but they sell a ton of other stuff too. They have onesies and kikarumis and they even have a brick and mortar store there that you can check out in Tykables which is in America I believe it's in Chicago that they have a brick and mortar store as well. Um, apparently they have a t Canadian store as well so gives you some options. Um, we're in Clouds, which I believe does the, um, what do they do? They do, like, diaper samples and stuff like that. Um, you'll see that they've, like, yes, moment. you'll see they've actually, um, sponsored quite a few ABs, so... Um, I know outside of the US there is Little for Big because I believe it's actually run from a Chinese company, Little for Big, which is why it all ships from China. Um, which I, they do onesies, they do bibs, they do pacifiers, and they are actually reasonably priced. Like, and they're fairly like their designs are fairly out there. In the US, not quite started up yet, is obviously Stay Padded as well, but. It has another few days until it actually goes live and you can start buying the first onesies from there. But I can say that their onesie is actually very nice. From... In Japan there's Baby Angel and Omutsu in Pants, which both are... I've checked out. They, one of them is far cuter than the other and I can't remember which one it is. I've got a funny feeling it's Omutsu in Pants is the far more cutesy one than... Baby Angel. Baby Angel looks a bit more like a normal person making them, so yeah. And then obviously outside of that there is, if you hit Australia, there is Onesies Down Under, which I think everyone pretty much knows about now, because they do, like, they're like probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest onesie company out right now. They do um, pacifiers, they do bottles, they do stuff like that. But if you are in the UK like me, once again, beware, there's a chance of customs charges, although they're very, very rarely paired, like, picked up, but occasionally it does happen, so just beware when you're ordering into the country. Basically there's a huge list of them. Of them. In fact, I've actually found a list on Reddit that has all these shops on it, so and others that I have never even heard about, so I will just, to make things easier, I will add the list just to the bottom and then you can all scroll through them and pick a site and a place. But the ones I have mentioned are more the ones I would go with, other than also cute, which obviously I mentioned, but I would say be very, very careful with. They even sell blow-up cribs, but the blow-up cribs look horrible. Like, really, really horrible. I don't understand who would actually get them. Like, no. And they're really expensive for what they are as well. So be careful with them. And I think that's everything for now. Hopefully this is helpful. This is mostly just a list of shops. Like, a f decent amount of these I either know people that I've bought from or I have bought from myself, so... helpful. Okay, so I will say goodbye for now and hopefully you can find something somewhere where you are. Okay? And remember, a lot of these places do ship worldwide. It's just where they're based, as we mentioned. So, check them out. And I will say goodbye now. So, thanks for watching. Talk to you all later. Bye!